We'll guide you through how to download Microsoft Excel on your PC or laptop. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So it's super useful to go and have the app. To go and do this, open up a web browser. I'm just using Google Chrome. And all you need to do is go and type in Microsoft 365, just like so. So when we go and get Excel, you're also gonna have access to all of the other Office apps as well. So let's come to office.com. Now what you need to do is go and click on sign in. If you don't already have an account, that's fine. You can go and click on create one. When you sign in, you'll get taken to this page here. So you can go and create an Excel workbook in your browser, but to download it, you need to come to the top right and you need to click on buy Microsoft 365 and you need to go and subscribe. So click here, you can choose a yearly plan or a monthly one um, and you can then go and get started. So press buy now and you'll then be subscribed. After you've subscribed, you can come back here and go to the top right and you'll go and see the option install apps. And what you can then do is click there and we can then start getting the Microsoft 365 apps, one of them being Excel. Just go and wait and you'll shortly go and get a pop-up about installing Microsoft 365. Choose a language and a version. I just keep them as they are here and click install at the bottom. The office setup file is going to go and download. So you can open up your file explorer and go and find it then all you need to do is go and run it. You'll go and get a Microsoft 365 pop-up, which you need to agree to. It'll then say we're getting things ready and you can go and start waiting. Within a moment or two, you'll go and get this pop-up and Microsoft 365 is gonna go and start downloading. After that's gone and finished, then all you need to do is go to the bottom of your computer and we can go and type in Excel and there it is. You can then go and open it up. The first time you open it up, you may be asked to go and sign into your Microsoft account, which you subscribe to Microsoft 365 with. 